Today we're going to be looking at some shed snakeskin. The Imaging and Histology Core Facility, we call it IHCF for short, is basically a research center and we're there to help researchers get images of their projects. So we're here for scientists and then people outside of the science world too. Biologists and chemists and physicists, engineers, anthropologists, uh, photographers. We have lots of light microscopes. And now we can see what that particular area looks like. And then uh, two different electron microscopes. Both take wonderful images, but it really comes down to what are you trying to image um, and how small is, is that structure. With a light microscope, one could view cell walls, nuclei, cell membranes, and anything that is around 200 nanometers. An electron microscope reveals images that are a thousand times smaller. So imagine you take one single human hair and then you split that hair lengthwise 20, 30, 50 times. That's how small we're talking on an electron scope. Samples for the electron microscope requires unique preparation. And then I just take double-sided carbon tape to adhere the sample onto the stub. The stubs are then coated with a thin layer of metal. We need to coat it with a conductive material. And in our lab, we use a alloy of gold and palladium. So that way there's no charging under the electron beam. Finally, the stubs can be viewed by the electron microscope. The crown jewel that we have now is a Zeiss Super 40 VP scanning electron microscope, or SEM. After a bit of fine tuning. So right now we're magnified 66 times. And already you can see very fine features on the snake skin. Details become more and more amazing as the microscope zooms in further. This is magnified 1,800 times. Robbery. Seeing the images produced by the electron microscope never gets tiring. So this is one of my favorite images. This is a bee tongue. This is a light bulb filament. This is a soil microbe called uh, a nematode. These are the mouth parts of a common tick found here in Arizona. You can get so much wonderful data um, from a single image and it can really speak volumes about what you're researching and really tell a story.